and get away with that? How come you don't sue this guy? Well, he can't. The, the, first of all, I'm past libel. Do you right. know what I mean? Like, there's this there's this whole thing in America where like you're libel proof because right. you've had so much crap said about you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's totally awful. Yeah. And the second thing is apparently, and I, I haven't seen it because I, I didn't want to do that to myself. And and you know my. I mean, come on, there's a six-year-old involved in this. Right, you know what I mean? Right. Um, who never did anything to anybody, but... Um, and I, everyone said you were going to be a crummy mother and stuff. Are you doing a good job at being a mom? I, I went to her first soccer game yesterday. That's more than I do. All right, I was, I was almost on the field. And what happens when you show up? Are all the other parents bugging no, you and stuff because you're famous? Man, no, no, everyone's no. cool about it. Yeah, I just would dress soccer mom. And nobody sits there and goes, oh, man, Courtney Love. Oh, what are you? No, I'm very accepted in my community oh, really? because people... People know I'm okay. It's like it's like Jim Carrey's manager when he goes like, um, yeah, but how do you lead a normal pretty. life? Just, I didn't know you were pretty because all he can, he can remember is the big quarters on drug face. Right, but how do you, but how do you conduct your life? I mean, how do you go to a soccer game without everybody sort of? Uh, you know what I do? You know, it's a choice. You know, you can yeah. come around with the, the big entourage and pull that crap, or you can like keep your head down and and just do the better and so the the stipe and say um i'm here and it's okay and right. leave me alone and, and it works it totally works and if right. you're friendly and you're enthusiastic it, it, and it's like you go to parent teacher night and all that sometimes. stuff you do sometimes, yeah a little bit yeah no kidding yeah of course yeah well i don't <laughs> i'm not doing that well but yeah i mean but you're a two-parent household that's right. I let my wife handle all right. that. Right. Well, I'm 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 breadwinner, dad, and mom. Right. And what do you do when you go on the road? And so you you're on tour now. I haven't decided how to do this yet. You got to bring the kid with you. No, well, that's not you rock know, and roll. I, I think I'm going to have um, Kurt's mom come down for some of it, and then what Flea does is he does three weeks on, and then three weeks off, so he can spend time with Clara. I just don't think unless it's Lilith, which I don't really want to do because you know, right. it's so sanitary. Right. Um, <laughs> uh, but you know, why don't you just do your own tour? You. You could do yeah, no, we tour. will. We will. Right. I mean, I would do Lilith to save it because I want the female dollar to be strong. Right. Uh, but then they offered us a show. They offered us like five cents. And I was like, oh, my God. I'd really? be saving you. What yeah. are you talking about? <laughs> right. Really? God. Yeah. So, I mean, they, the Lilith tour offers you money to go on. Boy, this five is cents. A little bit of money. Five yeah. cents. Yeah, Very you, little money. You're incredibly honest. You know that? Um, that's a, that is an unfortunate quality. No, I like it. I like it. I get in trouble. I can't get you to cry like Barbara Walters did, but but we get her to tell the truth. Yeah, but you do tell the yeah, truth. Yeah, but I was a mess with that. You yeah, know? You really and, it, and I didn't. I, I never watched really TV, so I didn't know that Barbara Walters makes everyone cry. What do you got? Sparkles on your face? I dig that. A little bit. Yeah. What it's, do you do? You spray that on? No, you stick it on. But the thing about your show is that it is really early in the morning, and yeah. and then you see Pam e on here, and and she's wearing rubber, and it's like Pam, come on. It Pam was, Anderson. It was six o'clock when you got up. <laughs> She's hot, though. <laughs> she lives that way. She is pretty hot. There wasn't a girl that you... Th I was reading your bio, and it said that, okay, so you were this kid, you're growing up, everything's messed up, you Can know. Can I get some water, though? Uh-uh. Sure. No way. Please, baby. Please, please, All right, please, please baby. All right. Give her a sip. Please, daddy. Uh. <laughs> okay, so... Um, can I call you that? No, I'm not going to start. Yeah, you can call me that. I'll spank Rubber you. Rubber band, where's the restraint? <laughs> you dig when guys spank you? What? You dig when guys spank you? Are you into that? Um, none of your business. I read something that said, you know, if you, a guy can throw her around the room, then she can respect That's it. Him. The, 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 she's paraphrasing it. Yeah, I could smack you around a little. <laughs> because, no, because everybody always thinks I'm going to be much bigger and, you know, whatever. And it's How tall are you? Five, eight and a half. No, oh, that's nice. I did that. I dig that. You I know, need it's, that. It's an Amazon planet. Right. So my, my bass player, who's a goddess, and she was a little afraid to go on, um, <laughs> she's probably the foxiest girl in rock. Really? She is the cute one, but she is a rock star. It's not about any acoustic nothing. Okay? I thought you did real good on the MTV uh, Music Awards. I didn't show enough of her. She is amazing. They don't know how to shoot bands on MTV. Yeah. It's the saddest thing I ever saw. The I MTV know. Music Awards. You, they, you still won't know the band. You won't. Seen it shot on you, can't, you, you watch well, those awards. It makes me nuts. Yeah. I can't see what's going on. Certainly no offense to Maryland, but like we didn't have dancers. Right. You know, we just weren't. You just went out there. and played. All right, yeah. listen. I'm going to tell you my DJ late at night story yeah. when this is over. What do you mean your DJ late at night story? I got one. What do you mean? I drove to a radio station. I wanted to be a DJ when I was 12. Oh, I thought maybe you had uh -oh. sex with the I DJ. Have, well, I, uh, I almost, almost. Did you lose your virginity? No, but no. Were you sexually active at 12? No. I could but see But I was trying like, to get my FCC2 license. Oh, really? Yes. You wanted to be a DJ? Yes. Wow. Like Uncle Don Wright in Portland, Oregon. I had my first class radio telephone license. I'll have you know. So you went down to the DJ, and did he let you on the air? Well, I was in Eugene, and I'd just gotten out of Juvenile Hall. Right. And uh, Why you know, were you in Juvenile Hall? I'm running away. Okay. I had 
a roach in my purse and in juvenile law so in bad. Oregon. Well, I was never going to be a felon, but I really didn't have any place to live. I mean, it's not my fault, Robin, but uh, her fault. But my mother, my mother did move to New Zealand and basically leave me. 